All right, so here's the WatchGuard 4RE. I have put in a different uh, hard drive into it because the original one is from the State Patrol and uh, they got to keep all the files they need for that. Pop on a power supply. Uh, this is actually the microphone that goes with it. You clip that to you and you can walk around and if you're doing something else outside the vehicle, the audio is still being recorded with the video. Super nice. And I, I just have one camera plugged in right now. It's upside down because it mounts the other way. But here's just a quick demo of uh, the functions and what's going on with this. Now it's going to do a little startup procedure. I basically have nothing hooked up to it at the moment just because it's sitting on my floor and not actually installed in anything. And as you can see it says system ready. The 4RE operates on a back-end software and this is a whole system that interacts with a whole bunch of other systems and auto uploads and it's 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 a whole thing. Um, so it's not just a standalone system where you can pretty much do whatever you want right from here. There's a software that goes along with it. Um, for instance, even though I have replaced the hard drive, there's no other memory with it. Uh, the firmware in here still is programmed to have all of these specific uh, state patrol officers and stuff in here. And if we go to user, I'm going to blur this out, but uh, we can see that the trooper, department, vehicle ID, um, it still has all this information in here. And I don't want any of that. So, for instance, if I go back, it says uh, Minnesota State Patrol, and it has a an officer's number in there. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be getting rid of all that because I don't want my videos to be saying Minnesota State Patrol in the corner because that would not be uh, that just wouldn't work very well. But um, the 4RE has a lot of cool features to it. Um, these cables all go to different functions. Uh, you can hook them up to uh, lights, horns, sirens, uh, pretty much anything you want to attach as a trigger. Uh, so you can see on the video what's been activated and this microphone as well um, you can set it up to automatically uh, start recording when the video goes or you can sometimes if uh, this thing's dead but you're supposed to be able to push this thing down and it'll start recording also We'll just make a file. Uh, let's just say that's a DWI. Um, the way that this particular one is set up from the State Patrol is once you have the file that you uh, have saved, then you have a whole bunch of options for whatever other uh, whatever type of file that it's actually going to be saved under, so it's easier to log in on the back end. And you can either include or exclude the background, which is all the other video files and audio and all that other stuff. Uh, we're just going to save it in standard resolution. Case number two. And there it is. Now I don't have any other... Uh, Camera's hooked up to it right now. I just have the one plugged in, um, and there's no microphones hooked up to it. There's an option for a cabin mic and the wireless mic, which is this thing here. But we can let's go back to review details, uh, and let's see if we can play that. The way this thing works is it's always recording 24 set, or it's always recording, but uh, when you actually start hitting record. Uh, to save the file, it actually goes back a certain amount of time and saves that. So, we're going to actually have to go up quite a bit to get to the part that I actually manually recorded. Uh, let's go back five seconds. And play. There we go. So, we'll go back another five seconds. 
yeah so there's just me waving my hand around uh, saving that file review we're just in that go back to menu uh, record after the fact um, is basically if you wanted to go back let's say six days ago uh, there's something else you wanted to look at maybe you got some new information and you wanted to check on something uh, you can actually go specifically start and end uh, the date and then obviously all the way down to the second you can make a file just off of that and then save it so that's kinda cool you can always look back on stuff and then obviously there's uh, you can hook up radar to this it has different types of uh, radars I'm not gonna need any of that uh, all sorts of different uh, voltages let's see yeah supply like there's uh, all sorts of different options and settings cam buttons night view backlights display buttons events admin login um, so I let's see what was the password for this thing ah yes um, Um, if you're a supervisor, uh, let's see. there we go. Um, if you're a supervisor, you can actually get into this uh, this stuff right here and get a lot more information. Successful system starts, 1,074 video processor restarts. Hard disk failures, 5, that's probably just from me messing with it. Uh, video connection, 1. Abnormal shutdowns, 1. And then you have a whole bunch of extra information. Um, but I, I install lighting and camera systems and all that stuff, so I have uh, the information for uh, these administrator codes. Uh, I'm not going to be sharing any of that, obviously, for obvious reasons. Uh, go to transfer, we have events to transfer. I have six files on here that I've just messed around with saved. Uh, 577.5 megabytes, which is nothing. Uh, there's a whole network. Um, uh, and this is for wirelessly uploading the footage. Vista, this is uh, just more server stuff and USB. Something cool about these is there's actually a, a door on the front of these. You have a key, and then you can actually pop out a little USB stick and transfer files that way. Some departments do it that way. Others use the wireless transfer. Um, there's some technical glitchy stuff that happens with that, so if you don't know how the system operates, it can give you some uh, issues. But as you can see, there's no USB inserted into it right now. So it's going to say no USB. And then another cool thing about uh, this system is we have all sorts of different auxiliary stuff that you can hook up to it. Uh, lights, sirens, wireless mic, aux, brakes, ignition, door, all sorts of different stuff. And that's what all these trigger wires are for. Is So when you hook all this stuff up and then you review the footage later, um, when you review the footage you'll actually have... Uh, little notifications on the screen for um, if the lights were activated or if the brakes were engaged or if the door is open or you know what have you it gives a lot more in-depth evidence as to what actually happened in that video display camera lights there we go here we are so enable power light you can see when I do that um, that green light goes on and off and then the same thing with enable record light so if I turn that off which uh, there we go if I turn that off and I hit record that light is not gonna come on so so it's a little more discreet just save that file under really don't matter and then and turn all that back on. That's fine. 
Um, I'm not going to go into details, but there is a way to basically, without having the back-end software, uh, wipe this fresh, but you do need to have some sort of access to the watch card system. I have support in the law enforcement community that helps me with this type of stuff whenever I need it. So I'm not going to go into how, uh, but there is a way to reset this without the factory software just from here, but you do need special access codes. Um, obviously, I'm not going to show all that for obvious reasons, but once I get this reset and get all that law enforcement stuff off of here, then uh, I will get back to it and we can see what we can do with it. All right, so this thing has now been totally reset. It's now blank. It just says department name on here. No longer says state patrol. No longer has a list of officers. No longer has any users. Uh, this thing is blank clean. Uh, so now it's ready for me to get into the software and actually input any of my own information or settings that I want into there.